Welcome to the Unapologetic Man Podcast. The only podcast that's all about self-improvement, confidence, success, women, and being a man without making any apologies for it. What is up, you champions? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the UMP. I really do appreciate you joining me. And today, we are going to talk about why you should be proud to be a man, proud to be masculine, proud to be the warrior that you are. Because, brother, you are a warrior. At the very least, you have a warrior within you. And we are going to try to unleash that fucker because we are going to talk about the importance of masculinity, the sure necessity of men and what they've done for this society. And of course, this is the Unapologetic Man podcast. I'm here to support masculinity. I'm here as a counterbalance to this movement that is trying to undermine masculinity, try to make you feel shameful for being a man, shameful for your sexuality, shameful for being attracted and approaching women. All that shit's out the door today, gentlemen. And ladies listening, I'm going to give you a chance right now to leave because this is for the men. And I'm going to say something to kind of fluff your feathers a little bit before you kick rocks with your head down, and that's this. Women have a lot of value too. I love the feminine. I think women are absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're completely necessary. So here's the props that I want to give to you before I unleash the props to my boys who are listening. You ladies go through absolute hell to carry and raise children. I'm seeing my woman, Marissa, do it right now. We have a four-year-old. That woman is an absolute angel, a saint, above me in so many ways when it comes to raising this child that I literally put her up on a pedestal of goddess level because of what she's been able to do. Not only carrying our daughter Lucia to term, giving birth to her, but also what she's done in the subsequent years. If it weren't for women, we wouldn't have anybody on this earth. So believe me, I have a lot of respect for women. I love women, but now you can kick rocks. Beat it, you fucking sea donkey, because this one is for the gentleman. And if you get pissed about that, please don't email me because I'm just gonna reply to you saying, dude, why are you so obsessed with me? Why do you literally take the time to email me? Are you in love with me? Are you secretly obsessed with me? You have a picture of me on your wall, a statue of me in your backyard with Lay Champion chiseled in the granite beneath my feet. I understand it. You get a little bit obsessed, but if you email me, that's just what I'm going to say. So please keep your hatred to yourself. Now kick rocks with your head down. Don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you because this is for the boys. Gentlemen, before we jump into the content, before I fluff your feathers and tell you why she'd be proud to be a man and talk about all the shit that men have accomplished and talk about all the value that the masculine brings into this world, I have a gigantic announcement. All right, so a lot of you guys want to enter my coaching program, but what do you think, yes, you listening, is the biggest objection to people coming to work with me? What do I hear day in and day out about why they can't work with me? Now, this objection usually isn't true, but it's still the biggest objection, and they use it because usually procrastination, fear, they're, they're afraid to go into their fears. But here's the biggest excuse. Have you guessed it yet? That's right, gentlemen, money. It's always about the money. Every single time somebody can't move forward, it's always money, and that's always the excuse. Now, I get it, okay? Obviously, working in a program like this one, completely changing your life when it comes to women, completely remapping your brain, it's gonna cost more than a couple hundred bucks. You guys obviously know it's a couple thousand dollars to work with me, and so a lot of guys don't have that money, and they're like, fuck, I wanna work with you, man, but I don't have the money. So, I went to bat for you guys. Over the last three months, I have been scraping and clawing and applying and convincing and trying to beg and plead to get you guys financing. And when I say financing, that means that I have found partners that are going to lend you the money and you could pay it back as little as $100 a month. I've seen $100 a month. Usually it's about $150 a month, but guys, think about it. If you've wanted to join my program, but you're like, dude, I can't afford that shit. I know it's a couple thousand dollars. I just can't do it. Now you can join us in the program. You can pay it back with as little as I've seen $100 a month, $150 a month, $200 a month. Everybody can do that. At least most guys can do that. 
I'm having burger flippers come into my program. I'm having guys who work at Walmart, at gas stations, guys who never were able to work with us before. And that always kind of bothered me, right? Because it's only people who have money who can join my program. No, man, that's fucked up. I want to work with all men. So I went to bat for you guys. I made partnerships with banks who are going to compete for your business in order to lend us the amount that you need to come join us in the program. And then you just pay it off at like a couple hundred bucks a month. Most people can do that. So if you've had problems with money and that's the reason you haven't been able to join us in the program, I have set this up for you at great expense to myself, by the way. I went to bat for my boys. I had to pay quite a bit of money in order to get these partnerships, but I've set this up for you so you can come join us and pay a minimal fee to do so. So if you're interested, gentlemen, finally get on that call with us. Apply below. We'll talk about the financing. And if you apply, it doesn't mean you have to move forward. In fact, you have to be approved first. But here's the cool thing is that you can be approved with what's called a soft pull. And basically what that is, is they look at your credit, but it doesn't affect your credit. Because a lot of you guys know that when you go looking into your credit, your credit goes down. A soft pull means that they can see whether or not you qualify for a loan. They can tell you exactly how much you can get, how many months it would take to pay it off, what the interest is. And by the way, the interest is really low because I negotiated for you guys. And again, at great expense for myself. And then only if you're comfortable, you can move forward. So why not have this conversation? Have you wanted to join us? If you have, the fucking door's open, man. The money reason is now gone. Unless you can't afford one or $200 a month, which most of you guys can. So is it worth it to you to get this part of your life settled once and for all? Have you been wanting to join me and the brothers in the brotherhood fighting shoulder to shoulder with us as fucking warriors? If you have, apply below. We'll talk. If you want to go the financing option, we'll walk you through it. It literally takes two minutes to get approved for a loan. And then we get to see exactly what your payment would be, how long it would take to pay it off, the whole nine yards. So if you're interested in that, doors open, bro. The money reason has now been removed. So let's work together, guys. I would love nothing more than to meet you. All right, gentlemen. So as I talked about at the top of the show, it really pisses in my river. It launches a 50-foot rope of diarrhea around my neck and chokes me out when I see all this attack on masculinity. Now, here's the reason this has happened. is because for a long time, we lived in a quote-unquote patriarchal society. Men had the power... They were quite demeaning towards women, and I think you can agree with that to some level. So feminism has rised up, and now part of that feminism is attacking masculinity in terms such as toxic masculinity is coming out. Guys are encouraged to be more feminine and less masculine. There's a movement out there that tries to demean what men are and what they do. Now, that's natural when things swing to the other direction. So for a long time, it was a patriarchal society, if you will. Now women have risen up, and now a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are attacking masculinity, and the pendulum is now swinging the other direction. That other direction is toxic masculinity, men are fucking pussies, testosterone is going down, sperm count is going down, because this mass pussification of the American, Canadian, British, and Australian male that is perpetuated by the media. So I'm here, along with guys like Jordan Peterson and others, to work towards bringing you back up and being proud of your masculinity. So let me ask you this. Who makes the cars, for the most part, that we drive? Who paves the roads? Who gets the oil out of the ground to make those cars go? Who built all the buildings in New York City? Who sailed across the ocean in order to find new lands? Who goes out and fights for their family when the shit hits the fan? Who gets released first when there's a hostage situation, men or women? Now, as I point this out to you, we have to see all the things that men do to create this society. Now, if there's still a few women listening, I already gave you your props. Women also have very high worth, and I absolutely love women, but this is about men. Look at all the sacrifices men have made. Look at all the blood, sweat, and tears that have been put forth into our civilization, starting all the way before Christ, when we were farming the lands and fighting each other in order to establish a foothold. Look at all the technology that's been created that was derived out of masculine ambition, masculine risk-taking, masculine wanting to grow because that's what the masculine does. That's what testosterone is. 
everything around you, probably including the house that you're sitting in, was mostly built by men. Now again, women have their place, but we're talking about men here. Men built the house you were in. You have the framers who come in, and I literally just watched this happen because we just bought a brand new house. The framers come in, these fucking group of Mexican champions who just like threw this place up. I was literally watching, and they built the entire fucking house in like six hours. It was insane. I was sitting in my car watching this house get built. Then the electricians come in, dudes. Then the drywall dudes come in, dudes. Then the painters come in. Then the roofers who are risking their lives on a day-to-day -day basis come in. All these men who risk their health, who work their asses off, who work their fingers to the bones through blood, sweat, and tears to do what? To provide for their family. Then I'm watching TV the other day and Hamas releases all these hostages. So they're showing all the pictures of the hostages being released and it's all women and children. Good. That's the way it should be. Because the men said, fuck that. You guys need to go first. We can handle this. Because the masculine can handle pain, can handle hard work, can handle the torment and the torture and the days upon days upon days that melt into weeks, months, and then years of back-breaking labor to create this entire society that all of us rely upon. That's on the backs of men for the most part. Sure, there's some women that did that too. I'm not demeaning women. Women have their place. But for the most part, for the vast majority, it is men who keep this motherfucker running. And it is men who we must salute. And it is you, brother, who need to have pride in the fact that you too are a man. You have that spirit inside of you that made this fucking nation. You have that spirit inside of you that created the skyscrapers, that created the freeways and the cars zooming down them. The huge companies like Amazon created by Jeff Bezos and his masculine ambition or Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg or whoever else you want to name that has that masculine ambition to go, 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 take names, kick ass, crush this motherfucker because that's what we're here to do. Now, whether or not you like those guys, it doesn't matter. You have to admit that that testosterone within them is what drove them to success. And you have to admit that that testosterone is inside you too, and it's what drives you. So instead of feeling bad about being a man, instead of wondering what gender you are, which is the most ridiculous thing, there's two genders. There, I've said it. You're either born a man or a woman. It's done. You're a fucking man. And instead of questioning it, instead of doubting it, instead of feeling bad about it, brothers, it is time to be proud of it. It is time to put our shoulders back and our chests out and look at all that men have accomplished. Look at all your brothers out there, your friends, your dad, your brother, your uncle, whoever it was, look how hard they work for the most part. Sure, there's some schleps out there, but most of this nation was built on the back of hard workers who are still out there, and I see it day after day. Today, I was hiking in the woods, and I see this gigantic cabin out in the middle of nowhere. Do you think women built that? I mean, let's be honest. Fuck no. You had guys out there dragging logs on their back to build this freaking thing because they wanted a safe place for their family. Again, with the Hamas hostages, all those guys said, ladies, go, and the ladies did go. On the Titanic, who were the ones that got on the boats first? The women and the children, and that's good. That's the way it should be. I want you going down with that ship, hanging onto the flagpole with your legs and your arms, and saying, I'm making this sacrifice to help those women and children, because that's what a man does. And that spirit inside yourself, brother, is something that you need to be proud of. From this day forward, I want you to be proud of your masculinity. I want you to be proud of your sexuality. The fact that you want to go have sex with women, that's how you were designed. So stop resisting it. Stop feeling shameful about it. Stop saying this is wrong and trying to suppress it. Be proud of that shit, man. I mean, this gets a little disgusting, but it's like when you get a boner in the morning, be like, yeah, look at that bad Jackson, dude. That fucker will fuck shit up. That's the way you need to feel about your masculinity. So starting today... I want you to hold your head up a little higher, stick your chest out, be proud of all that men have done and be proud that you too are a man. Look at everything around you and think, who made this? Who maintains this? Who continues this shit? And whose ambition was it that created this? Probably men, women too, okay? Women have definitely played their role, but for the vast majority, it's men. Who's the mechanic under there cutting his hands up and getting oil all over his face and all over his arms? He walks into the supermarket looking all disheveled and completely dirty and women like look at him and be like, oh my God, we don't need that guy. Fuck yeah, you need that guy. 
You need us. This society would collapse without us. And yes, this society would collapse without women as well. We both have our part. But enough of this toxic masculinity. Enough of this, you guys have no purpose. Fuck off, we don't need you anymore. You do need us. And we need ourselves, brothers. We need to come together and support each other. And back to my point about you being attracted to women, good. You approaching women, good. Remember that stupid Gillette commercial? where it shows the guy approaching a woman and his friend comes up and says, no, 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 man, that's not cool. That is cool. That's your job. How do you think this species will continue to procreate off of Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge? Fuck no. It's going to take men approaching women with the courage that's in your heart, the same courage that had those Sioux Indians going out to fight against Custard and his army when they were trying to take his land. The same courage that those guys on D-Day invaded the battlefield. The same courage that the 300 Spartans lined up to protect their women and children, to protect their small city of Sparta. That's what a man does, and you are a man. And from this episode forward, brother, I want you to be proud to be a man. Anytime somebody spites you because of your gender, you need to throw that shit out immediately and say to yourself, you're just peanut butter and jealous. You don't understand how awesome it is to be a man. You don't understand the freedom that we have to go approach any woman we want to and get her attracted to us. You don't understand the strength that's in these arms, that's in these hands. You don't understand what I've done and the weight that I carry on my shoulders as a fucking masculine presence. I have to provide, I have to protect, I have to preside, and I'm willing to do so. But never, under any circumstance, allow that bullshit narrative to get into your subconscious mind and convince you that because you're a man, you're somehow worth less. You are not worth less, brother. You are part of this army of men that I too am proud to be a part of. And on a final note, gentlemen, this whole premise that this podcast episode is based is because a lot of my clients have shame about being a man, shame about their sexuality, and we go to work on it immediately with NLP. But not only do they have shame about their masculinity, their sexuality, the fact that they want to pair bond with a woman, which by the way is extremely necessary for your health, but they also have shame about different things about themselves. Maybe they're race, they're Asian, they're Indian, they're short, they're fat, they're bald, they're not good at speaking, they don't make a lot of money, they're insecure about filling the goddamn blank. Whatever it may be, that thing that you hate about yourself, here's what I want to invite you to do. I want you to accept it as if you've chosen it. Just like I want you to accept the fact that you're a man and be proud of it. I have a client who came to me and he said, hey, listen, Mark, I have a really weak heart. I can't go hiking with these chicks. I can't do physical activity with these chicks. And he's like, what do I do? And I said, man, send that heart love. Be proud of that little fucker because he's like the little engine that could. He's the dude that doesn't quit. He's the underdog. He's the run to the litter that keeps trying to improve himself. And for that, you need to send him love because I guarantee you, the whole time you've been sending him resentment, hatred, and you've been secretly wishing it was different. So here's your homework, gentlemen. In addition to being proud that you're a man, I want you to be proud of that thing that you don't like about yourself, whatever it is, be it your age, your height, your look, I don't care what it is, accept it as if you chose it and begin to love it. Yes, send it love, even your love handles that you have as a muffin top around your midsection, kinda as I do, I struggle with that. Send it love and say, hey man, this is my body, I'm proud of it, it is what it is, and you know what? I love you, man, I love that part of you. How many of you guys have actually done that? Very few. The more you resent something, the more it's gonna hold you back. Just like I told my client, I'm like, man, probably your whole life, you've been yelling at your heart, resenting your heart, feeling bad about your heart. How do you think your heart feels? What if you send him love and say, man, you're working hard for me, bro. You just keep going. You keep trying. You haven't quit yet. You're still beaten, aren't you? That's right. You haven't quit yet. And neither of you, bro, listening to this episode, you haven't quit yet. So be proud of both being a man as well as whatever it is that you're insecure about. I'm sick of this. Guys hating themselves and insulting themselves and bringing themselves down. There's enough of that out there in society to take care of it. Okay, you don't need to add to it. So we are proud to be men. Look at what men have done. Look at how much we've accomplished. Look at your sexuality and say, fuck yeah, dude. 
I'm horny, man. I'm proud of it. I want to have sex with women. I make no apologies. I'm unapologetic about being a man. And that's exactly the whole premise of this podcast. And then I want you to look at that thing you hate most about yourself and just try this, a thought experiment. Try to love it. Try to accept it. Try to say yes to it as if you chose it. This is the secret to development. This is the secret to happiness. So gentlemen, you boys are fucking champions. Thank you to all you carpenters, you mechanics, you truck drivers, you boat dock workers, you oil field workers, you office workers, you entrepreneurs, you doctors, you lawyers, you fucking champions who keep the society running. It is run on the backs of men. And for that, I want you to be proud. Gentlemen, I do appreciate you listening. As a reminder, if you're still in a place where you're not making a lot of money, but you want to come into the energy that I just threw out on this episode, you want to join the brothers and radically increase not only your confidence, but also your success with women, we are open to you. I have a financing option where you could pay as little as $100 a month or $200 a month. What's stopping you now? Fear? Procrastination? We get rid of that shit immediately because every single guy in my program is scared. But just like that Sioux Indian who went to fight Custard and his army to protect his tribe, to protect his women, you will find the courage when you join other brothers who too are scared as you are. Let's talk, brother. I want to meet you. Please don't deprive me of that. I am here to help men just like you. And now that the financing option has been eliminated... There's nothing else to talk about other than where you can buy the bulk pack of condoms because you're about to need them when you come into my program. I do appreciate you listening, gentlemen. As a reminder, I drop podcasts on Mondays and Thursdays. So please stay tuned for the next one and I will see you in the next episode.